Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Tis But A Pipe Dream. Now this was developed by 909 Games, uh, published by Weak Fish Studio and it's available for usually £4.19. It is on sale at, at this very moment at the time of recording. Uh, so £4.19 slash $4.99 is the usual price. And well, what do we have here? We have a dream. Where, as a little man, we want to get through some pipes. It depends on the context, whatever pipe that you want to. But no, this is just a cheeky little puzzle game that you, uh, yeah, just have effectively have to get to the other side. So, achievement's very easy. We have to pass, and this may really hurt some people, but we have to pass all levels up to level 19. Now, you're probably wondering why, why not level 20? It's a good question. I don't know, but I know that is going to really grit on people's nerves and that's actually kind of funny sorry sorry to those that would prefer a level 20 a nice round number but anyway it's a, it's a, uh, it is a very easy enough game and um, we literally can just press uh, the d-pad in order to move left and right the b button is what we will use to get through the cracks in the pipes and the a button will be to jump so let's crack on let's do it let's start a new game so first of all you're a little skeleton looking boy, so just go to the right and that's going to be level one done. Hoorah! Right, so again, a bit of tutorial, jump in, practice in, jump up to the left hand side. And hoorah! So next level then, just be careful with these platforming jumps here. Can be very easy to obviously fall off, so get on each bigger meaty pole and get to the other side. Now this is where we're going to start doing the pipings together, the joining the pipes. Press the B button when you see the big crack, that'll put you straight down. <laughs> and then again with the D-pad you can go down. Now it can be sort of slightly weird. I'll show you what I mean now. So we're going to go down the crack. Now you can see with the head where you're at, You, I was basically looking for the sort of black line that was following me and that was messing me up. But you basically just got to follow where the head is. So for this one, we're going to stick with the left-hand side as much as we can. Then stick with just the bottom as we go to the left and then go up. Then we'll go to the next crack to the right. And then we'll go to the left and down. So you can see what I mean, where it can be slightly confusing. I'm thinking of where the black dot behind us is going to go. But you should be following the head. That is where the direction is going to go. Right, so... Again, if you need to restart for any point, you can use the menu button, which will always be called the start button. Um, and everyone, everyone over 25 will agree. Right, so we'll drop down the crack, go to the right. And then go down. So go down twice, and then right twice, and then up. You sort of basically, again, just stick in to the wall as much as you can. Going up, left, up once, and then left all the way until you get to the very left hand crack. That's pretty cracking. Then with the next crack, then we'll go over to the right. And we're effectively just going to uh, head all the way right down. Sticking with the right path until we get to the crack on the left. So on to the next level then. So what we're going to do, we'll obviously drop straight through the crack. We're going to head up. But we're going to, when we get up here, we're going to stick to the left-hand wall and go up to the crack at the top. I don't know why I keep calling it a crack. It's a hole, it's a crack, it's whatever you want it to be. So with this one, we'll just go down, go to the left. That's complete us. On to the next one. Now we've got to start collecting keys. It's starting to get intense up in here. Slightly. So drop down, and then, of course, we just... Doesn't matter how you do this one, we're just going to get up to L crack bags at the top. Old crack nuts, and then we'll jump down, grab the key. Yeah, yeah. Right, so for this one, we need to now collect three keys. So when we drop down, we will go to the left first, then stick with the right hand side and go up, and then grab this key, and then down, and then grab the last key, and then we'll keep on going to the right, and then, yeah, we do fall to our death as well, but complete us. Right, again, drop down the crack, we're going right, and then we're going to go up, again, sticking with the sort of left, left hand side, sticking to the wall as much as you can, then we're going to head up, go here, now what you need to do is press the B button, now, 
you'll sort of hear a noise, but uh, you can just press it once or twice. It should change color. And that is how you get through the next set of cracks in the wall. I, yeah, it is the B button, yes. So uh, drop down the left-hand side crack first and then head up. And then you are going to go to the one down and then go to the next one down and then we'll go to the next one up. And then drop down, grab the key, fall to your death, but you're still alive. Video games. Ugh, I never play video games no more. I never play video games. Right, so we're going to go up when we go through the crack. Obviously, we need to go through the purple one or blue, whatever bloody color that is. Jump up to the left and change color. Again, just press it a couple of times until you... Uh, press the B button a couple of times here until you change color. It's a bit weird. But it's all good, little frogman. Then we can just drop straight down. Head to the right, and then it should be an easy path to exit. So up jumps the frogman. So what we're going to do, we're going to change color to blue slash purple. It looks more purpley to me. I do apologize if I if I get a color wrong. I am slightly colorblind, which is just no. Right, so we're going to go up. And then smash out the crack right here. Then we're going to go to the left. We're going to change color again. Got to go to a nice solid orange. Then we'll drop down to the right. You can see the key. Go through the crack. And then the way, the path, the dimensions are clear. There we go. There you go, frog boy. Get in. Right. Next up then. So we're going to drop down this first crack first. Uh, head to the left end, stick with the left left path. Then we are going to need to do some climbing. So again, just be careful with the platforming section here on the right. Jump up to the left. You will need to do this little bit of crack in. So crack that one out. Uh, we'll have to do some platforming again. Um, I don't know if you can avoid getting jumped down there, but anyway. So pick the key. Drop down, change color to dark pink or dark purple. And there's the crack. And then we're finished. And then we've got a couple more levels left to go. Right, so now we are greener than a green thing on Green Street. So we'll drop down, of course, and then we're going to head up the only path. Only four more levels left now. So then we're going to go a nice orange, or a nice red, sorry. And then we'll drop down, because we need to grab the key, of course. So once we drop down, we'll jump up. That's the pipes completed. Drop down to grab the key, fall to your death, and then you are still alive. Congratulations. Right, grab, uh, go down again, and then of course we're just heading to the left. Up and left, and up and right, and up and left, and mm -mm, this is my new exercise video. It makes you lose no weight, because I don't have one. So, go to the right there, go orange. First things first, we're going to do the one in the middle. There we go, doesn't matter which way you do it, but then we can go ahead and do the one on the right. Fall to your death, yeah, yeah. And Achievemento Unlockerinidod. Right, so change color first. We are going to change to the beloved green. Greenish, whatever that is. Uh, obviously in the left-hand puzzle, that one will do. Then we can jump over to the right. Change color again. And obviously we're going to go a nice blue. Nice blue tan this time. We'll drop down and finish the crack off this time because we need to change color to red and then a red thing on Red Street. And once we've done that, we'll jump over to the right, and the path will be clear, and we'll only have two more levels left now, I think. And as it turned out, I lied. We've got one more level left, so let's do it. And it's, of course, it is an easy one, so we'll drop down. We're going to head over to the right-hand side path to grab the key. Then we can jump up, change color, and we'll just drop down, and that will be almost done, because we've got to grab another key here on the left. Once that is grabbed, though, that will be that. So that is another thousand number of thousand completed and done. Again, probably expect some DLC title updates in the future, but for now, we're all done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope the guide helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as usual. Big shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members slash supporters slash legends. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.